Hi friends, Rev Janet Jones from High Country United Church up in Gomilla, Ontario, here with you at home. Welcome to my humble abode. Fortunately, you get to see the clean part of the couch. <laughs> it's not that bad, really, but it's, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so, like, I was thinking today, I feel like procrastinating on everything. I feel like procrastinating on everything. And then I'm also thinking about people who have who, who feel they are desperately in need of a haircut. I saw Mike Myers on the, uh, was it Stronger Together, Canada Stronger Together, the Food Bank, um, uh, Canada Food Bank fundraiser. And he's, he wore a hat and it was because he said, yeah, it looked like his haircut was done with a knife and fork. And so I was like, all these little things going around my head. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing a toque in my house. And that's because, actually on the shirt I'm wearing today, two causes that are great for my heart. So Out of the Cold, which is a fundraiser for the food bank, and a ride, because I can, is a bike ride for MS. Um, one of my BFFs uh, has MS, but she does not let it does not let it slow her down. So she uh, continues to do what she can. And so uh, just to get myself motivated today, I thought, okay, I'll start the day doing the reflection in a toque and a t-shirt, <laughs> truly Canadian, and uh, read you a little scripture. So there's two scriptures um, <laughs> that I was thinking about today. And I'm focusing on trying not to procrastinate. So. First one is, be dressed, ready for service, and keep your lamps burning. Friends, if you're having a hard time getting motivated, put some clothes on. Put some clothes on. I learned the other day, if I wore my pajamas, I wanted to sleep. So I needed to put some pants and shirt on, and I actually did things. Not a lot of things, but I did things, all right? Okay, so that is your first today's pandemic tip. Um, the next one is, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. These scriptures um, are great reminders of our faith and our call to action that no matter what we are doing, or think we should be doing, let's say that, no matter what we think we should be doing, as long as we're doing good, the reward comes in the end. So uh, yesterday I finally took up the food bank donations that were collected just before uh, church shut down. Um, and uh, I was able to hear um, from the volunteer there that they are starting to look at their new location, which is just around the corner from their current location, and it's bigger and better. And they're enjoying the relationship with the Salvation Army, having the drive-through service kind of thing happening there. Um, and so good things are happening in a different way for them. And I'm not, I just, I wonder how it all unfolded with their new location, especially it kind of seems like it was all in within this time. So, so I'm wondering, um, are you still able to do some good right now? Uh, are you? I, some might be fearful for going out. And so if you want to do good and you have financial means, you can donate to your favorite causes online. Don't forget the church. We're your favorite cause. We got to keep our bills paid. And um, don't forget, it's not just about paying our bills at the church, but it's also donating to our community partners and stuff. So we are not self-serving. <laughs> we are not a self-serving church. And so just remember that. There's also Mission and Service of the United Church of Canada. So if you want to look at a global thing that you're interested in, Mission and Service is a great um, great way to donate and make sure you hit a global thing. Um, there's also Gifts with Vision through, uh, I, I believe it's connected through Mission and Service, that you can look for online and donate to a specific cause, which is even better. But um, my heart is with Choices Youth Shelter right now and the Orangeville Food Bank. 
and I understand some of our regular fundraising um, causes, so uh, the MS walk, some of those have just moved online. So instead of uh, doing the big gathering walk, uh, I think there are some other things happening. I'm not sure, like I haven't heard about the Terry Fox run yet. I think a lot of those things are waiting to see what's gonna happen down the road. So today, I want you not to procrastinate in doing good. Don't procrastinate, friends. Do what you can. And I might wear my toque all day long. Probably not, because I'm already getting warm. <laughs> but um, I did get dressed, so I can get a little more motivated to do what I need to do today. And I will at least dust that one corner that's driving me nuts today. That's probably what I'm gonna do while this video is uploading. Other than that, I have to get some planning done, because tomorrow we have our Zoom call and stuff like that. Uh, so tomorrow's the busier kind of tech day. So, get dressed. See what good you can do today. And if it's not for a cause, like a public cause, a community cause, do it for a cause for your family or friends. I have a friend who's uh, sad because her Nana is not well at all and may be dying. And so reaching out to her a little more often, um, is another cause. So if I can't do these things today, it'll be making sure she knows she's loved and praying and that I'm praying for her. Things like that. Let's make a difference. Let's do some good, share some joy. And if you're gonna do a video call with anybody, do something silly, like just throw them off. Well, unless it's a very serious thing like work, you know, well, maybe you can't. Anyway, I could babble forever, you know that. Instead, let us pray. <laughs> Loving and gracious God, we thank you for joy in our hearts this day. For the rain that refreshes the grass and the flowers, the vegetation. We thank you <clears throat> for the news that numbers are slowly decreasing for COVID-19. And we continue to pray for our friends in Nova Scotia. God, help us to share joy that's in our hearts with the world in some way, be it one person or many. But God, just be with us this day and all our days to come. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, friends, until I see you tonight for 8 p.m. prayers or tomorrow's daily reflection, or both, who knows what time has. And this is Red Jan saying, God is with you.